take a look at the Yankees box score, and there are a lot of zeros there. The only hit, Miguel Andujar leading off the top of the third with the solo home run. No batting with runners in scoring position. Nobody left on base because Porcello was so dominant, and Aaron Boone talked about that after the game. Make Porcello so dominant tonight. Um, well, he he was pounding the strike zone. I mean, strike one all night, but I thought he did a, a good job overall of, you know, kind of having that comeback with the fastball, the ability to cut it, the ability to pitch at the top and ride it high. Um, he pitched really well. You know, I, you know, we hit six, seven, eight balls right on the screws, so I, I didn't think we had bad at bats against him. I just, he was filling up the zone, so a lot of early um, early counts just because he was a head strike one so much, but I thought he pitched, he obviously pitched really well, but um, I thought, also thought we had a lot of good at-bats against him. When you throw as many first pitch strikes as he does, does that put the team on the defensive right, at, right away? Well, I mean, you, you certainly don't want to hit behind in the count, and um, you know, so strike one's a very important pitch. You know, you hear t pitchers talk all the time about that, and he did a great job of that tonight. With Severino, with the exception of that first inning, what did you think of his performance tonight? Really encouraging. Um, I thought it was a big step forward for him. Um, again, uh, you know, the, the long ball hurt him there, obviously, in the first inning where he's trying to go down and away with the fastball and leaks back over the middle. That's, you know, where, when he's going down and away, if he misses, he's got to miss down and away off. And that's where he's been hurt. But what was encouraging, you know, after throwing 30-something pitches, you know, a blue pit for the third run, I thought he really competed well. I thought he found himself a little bit, and hopefully, you know, it's it's something that allows him to build into the next start. Um, I thought he I thought he pitched well mostly. Aaron, was that a um, response to Gardner getting hit, or was it something from last? I mean, him knocking off knocking bets down no, I, to start the game. I, I think I think watching the replay of it, Rowe setting up in, and you know, if you're going to go into Mookie Betts. Um, you don't want to miss in there, so I think it just ran up and in on him a little bit. Do you think Cardinals can help focus? No. Were you surprised that warnings were shooter? Uh, yeah, yeah. When you know, I, I was, I was surprised. It didn't look like the home plate umpire was going to issue it. It looked like it, like Cuzzy, yeah, like Cuzzy, from, from Cuzzy yeah. down, down at first. It seemed like you stopped Severino from walking right into the dugout as you approached the mound. What did you say to him before he walked off when you got the ball from him? I just. I love the way he competed tonight. You know, he, he went, you know, pretty high with the pitch count because just just the state of ne knowing we needed to get a little bit deeper into this game. And I thought, you know, after another tough first inning for him, you know, and I don't think his final line indicates how well he pitched, and I feel like he found some things tonight. And I, I just wanted to let him know how proud of the effort I was of him and, and the way he competed and, and that this is a step forward for him and hopefully something that he can take into his next start now. Aaron, he's not getting as many swings and misses mm -hmm. as when he was really going yeah. well. Is that <laughs> concerning or is that just a... Well, I mean, that's a part, part, yeah, part of that's the Red Sox. I mean, they, they do a good job of, um, of obviously putting the ball in play. It's something they do, you know, as good as anyone. So, um, I don't know. I thought, I really thought after the first day, I thought he was sharp. I there, but I thought stuff wise, I thought he, he, he got stronger as the game went on. And, and I really do feel like he, uh, he found himself out there a little bit tonight, uh, especially after that first. How much is on Chance Adams tomorrow? I mean, this is, it's just, you know, we want to make it as, as, normal for him as we can obviously you know it's a big league debut and up going up against a great team but we're, we're not going to make it any bigger than it is we want to get him here and get him as comfortable and into his routine and you know hopefully go out there and give us a quality start what were you checking on with glaber he just cramped up a little bit in his forearm there so um and then so it wasn't a big deal he just kind of yeah it was cramped said before the game, you make it about uh, Severino and Porcello, I assume tomorrow is Adams and Evaldi. Yeah. Does any part of you say it's seven and a half games now? Is it, is it registering that it's slipping and slipping further away? Um, look, I know we're not in the best situation, obviously, as we're in early August here. I understand all that, but I also understand all we can be is hyper-focused on 
where we're at. We're definitely going through a little tough stretch right now. We're going, we're being tested to a degree, which is ultimately going to happen in, in a big league season. Um, but the bottom line is we're still in position here to potentially have a special season. We got to right the ship a little bit here. We got to play better. Everyone um, can do a little bit better. But you know, it's important that that you know those guys in there understand that you know this is a test. It's not always going to be easy. And uh, but I have no issue with 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 our focus, with where we're at, and 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 I'm I do feel like it'll turn. I know it'll turn around. Uh, we just got to keep grinding through this tough time right now. Aaron, what do you think a test like that reveals about a team? And what do you think a test like this might reveal about a manager going through it for the first time and sort of encountering some of these things? Look, I, I think the, the 162 game season is 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 maybe the ultimate test and the ultimate grind. And we we are in the midst of having a really good season right now. I think we're going to end up having a really great season, and it's inevitable that you're going to you're going to hit a bump along the way. You're going to hit some 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 tougher times. You know we've been, you know we've had some fluke things happen with some injury things that that have hurt us. But um, you know you, you find out a lot about yourself, and I feel like when you go through a little bit of adversity, um, when you can pull yourself out of that. Um, I think it makes you tougher in, in tough moments, in crisis, whatever comes up later in the season, hopefully when we're playing in some real meaningful games.